Hello guys, welcome to yet another wonderful session of learning with prep class. My name is Tutor Olalekon Israel, your prep class tutor, and in today's video, we will be answering questions from the Jam English 2020 past questions. Now, remember, the purpose of this session is to help you prepare for your Jam examinations. So, without wasting much time, let's get into the business of the day. Before we start answering the questions, kindly subscribe to our channel so you can get free access to numerous educational materials like these ones. Okay, let's begin. Now, read the passage. Now, question 1 to 5 is centered around a comprehension passage. So, we have to read the passage and use the passage to answer the questions. Now, the instruction reads, read the passage carefully and answer the questions that follows. Read Pass it carefully and answer the questions that follows. Now, to answer questions of comprehension passage, it is very important to read the whole passage first before going to the questions section. After reading the passage, you can now go back to the question section, read each question, then come back to the passage to select the answer to each question. So now, let's read together. The young are not listening to their elders. And perhaps they never have. But now it happens that with many of them, the reason may be medical. The young aren't listening because they can't hear. Just as nagging parents have long suspected, otologists now otologists are hearing specialists. Otologists now report that youngsters are going deaf as a result of blasting their eardrums with electronically amplified rock and roll. The hearing specialists used to worry about loud noise as a cause of deafness only in industrial and military situations. They knew that eight hours of daily exposure, year in and year out, to the dean of the proverbial boiler factory would eventually result in permanent hearing loss. Riveters were particularly susceptible. Then they learned that the same thing happened to aviators. After the advent of jets, the hazard applied to ground crews at airports and flight deck personnel aboard aircraft carriers. Hence, the introduction of insulated noise absorbing plastic car moves. Okay, let's continue. Now, in disco fest and rock and roll joints, the trouble is not so much in the instruments themselves or the close quarters. The blame goes to the electronic amplifiers. An old-fashioned military band playing a match in Ramat Park generated as much sound. But the sound was not amplified and was dissipated in the open air. A trombonist sitting in front of a tuba player might be a bit deaf for an hour or so after a concert. Then his hearing returns to normal. Now, is is supposed to be the pronoun is, H-I-S, not I-S. So it should be H-I-S, the pronoun is, then his hearing returns to normal. A microphone hooked up to a public address system did not appreciably increase the hearing hazard. What it did is multiple microphones and speakers and the installation of internal microphones in such instruments as guitars and buzukis. So that is the passage. Now, paying attention to this passage, this passage is centered around Deafness. Deafness as a result of exposure to loud noise. So, let's move on to the questions section now. Right. Question 1. What is the difference between the old-fashioned military band on the one hand and discotheque and rock and roll joints on the other? What is the difference between an old-fashioned military band and a discotheque, rock and roll joints. What is the difference? A. One is old fashioned while the other is modern. B. One produces sound for matching, the other for disco. C. One has drums, the other has guitar. D. One produces amplified sounds, the other does not. So which of these is the difference between the old fashioned military band and Discotheque rock and roll joints. Now, going by this passage, the answer to this question is found in the third paragraph. In the third paragraph, 
a difference was pointed out between the old-fashioned military band and the discotheque rock and roll joints. Now, in the third paragraph, it reads, In discotheques and rock and roll joints, in discotheques and rock and roll joints, the trouble is not so much in the instruments themselves or the close quarters. Now, the trouble is not because of the instruments that are being used in discotheques or because the place is closed. No. The blame goes to the electronic amplifiers. So, discotheques and rock and roll joints make use of electronic amplifiers. An old-fashioned military band playing a match in Ramat Park generated as much sound. But the sound was not amplified and was dissipated in the open air. Now, what this part of the passage is trying to make us know is that an old-fashioned military band and a discotheque rock and roll joint actually generates the same kind of sound. But the only difference is that one makes use of electronic amplifiers. The blame goes to the electronic amplifiers. Now, if the discotheque and rock and roll joints were not making use of electronic amplifiers, the noise would have actually not been so much. But because of the amplifiers they make use of, the sound would, becomes very, very loud. So the answer to this question is, one produces amplified sound and the other does not. Very quickly, moving on to the next question, question number two. What is the result of being subjected to the deal of the proverbial boiler factory for a prolonged length of time? What is the result of being subjected to the deal of the proverbial boiler factory for a prolonged length of time? Option A, loss of hearing which will never improve. Option B, total deafness 8 hours a day. Option C, temporary deafness. And option D, having loss which can be corrected by medical treatment. What is the result of being subjected to the day of the proverbial boiler factory for a prolonged length of time? Now let's take a look at the answer. The answer to this question is found in the second paragraph. Now, the part where we have the answer is already highlighted. The hearing specialists used to worry about loud noise as a cause of deafness only in industrial and military situations. They knew that eight hours of daily exposure, eight hours of daily exposure year in and year out, to the deal of the proverbial boiler factory would eventually result in permanent hearing loss. They knew that eight hours of daily exposure year in and year out to the deal of the proverbial boiler factory would eventually result in permanent hearing loss. So the answer to this question is A, loss of hearing which will never improve. When we say something is permanent, it cannot change. In that passage, we have, they knew that eight hours of daily exposure year in and year out to the deal of the proverbial boiler factory would eventually result in permanent hearing loss. So the answer to this question is loss of hearing, which will never improve. All right, moving on to the next question, question number three. Question three reads, the same thing happened to aviators. This excerpt, according to the passage, means what? What does this excerpt mean? The same thing happened to aviators. What is this same thing that happened to aviators? Option A, that riveters were particularly susceptible. Option B, industrial and military deafness. Option C, that continued loud noise resulted in deafness. Option D, that working in a boiler's factory affects one's hearing. So what is this same thing that happened to aviators? From this excerpt, we can say that something happened earlier, which is not happening to aviators. So let us check or let us look for that thing that happened earlier that is not being said to happen to aviators. Going back to the passage, the answer to this question is found in the second paragraph. The hearing specialists used to worry about loud noise as a cause of deafness only in industrial and military situations. 
they knew that eight hours of daily exposure year in and year out to the din of the proverbial boiler factory would eventually result in permanent hearing loss. So they're talking about um hearing loss in this place, uh, exposure to loud noise, right? Moving on, the passage continues to say, Rivers were particularly susceptible. Then they learned that the same thing happened to aviators. What is this same thing that happened to aviators? What have we been talking about in this paragraph before we go to this part where the paragraph says, Then they learned that the same thing happened to aviators. Let's go on. After the advent of jets, the hazard applies to the ground crews at airports and flight deck personnel aboard aircraft carriers. Now, we're talking about a particular hazard. The hazard that has been discussed so far in this paragraph is hearing loss as a result of exposure to loud noise. Before, a hearing specialist used to worry about loud noise causing deafness only in industrial and military situations because they are exposed to the din of the proverbial boiler factory both they realized that the same thing happened to aviators. The same hazard happened to aviators because of the exposure to loud noise. After the advent of jets, the hazard that is deafness as a result of exposure to loud noise applied to ground crews at airports and flight decks personnel aboard aircraft carriers. So the answer to this question is that continued loud noise resulted in Deafness. The answer to this question is that continued loud noise resulted in deafness. Now, hearing specialists used to worry about loud noise causing deafness only in industrial situations, but the same thing started happening to aviators. After the advent of jets, the same thing which is what? Deafness as a result of exposure to loud noise. So the answer to this question is continued loud noise resulted in deafness. As it happened in both military and industrial um, situations, it also happened in the case of aviators. That is why the passage says in this part, ends the introduction of insulated noise absorbing plastic calm off to avoid um to avoid deafness as a result of continued exposure to loud noise. So, moving on to the next question, question number four. It reads, the young are not listening to their elders because, dash, A, they never have. B, their parents nag constantly. C, they are permanently deaf. D, they appear to be going deaf. Why are the young not listening to their elders? Now, according to this passage, the answer to this question is found in the first paragraph. The young are not listening to their elders, and perhaps they never have. But now it happens that with many of them, the reason may be medical. Now, what is the reason? Why are the young not listening to their parents? Or why are the young not listening to their elders? Now, this is the reason. The young aren't listening because they can't hear. The young aren't listening because they can't hear. Just as nagging parents have long suspected, otologists now report that youngsters are going deaf. Youngsters are going deaf. This is the reason they can't listen to their elders. As a result of blasting their eardrums with electronically amplified rock and roll. So the answer to this question is, the young are not listening to their elders because they are appearing to be going deaf. They appear to be going deaf. Now, a lot of us in our homes plug up our earphones, headsets, and listen to very, very loud music. And when people call us, we can't even hear them. So, when we do not listen or when we do not respond to calls, it is not because we do not want to respond, but because we can't hear. We have plugged our ears with headphones, um, earpieces, headsets, and so on, so we can't hear. It is not because they never have. They used to listen to their parents before they started on. Um, Blasting their eardrum with electronically amplified rock and roll. It is not because their parents nag constantly. It is not because they are permanently deaf, but because youngsters are going deaf. Now, otologists now report that youngsters are going deaf. This is the reason they can't listen to their elders. They are going deaf as a result of blasting their eardrums with 
electronically amplified rock and roll. So the answer to this question is because they appear to be going there. Please, it is not advisable to listen continuously to loud music that affects the eardrum. So whenever you want to listen to music, make sure the volume is not very, very high. So you don't begin to go deaf. Right, moving on to the next question. Question number five. Question number five reads, just as nagging parents have long suspected that A, their children did not listen to them, B, children could not hear properly after listening to amplified music, C, pathologists were always right, D, children were disobedient because they did not listen to their parents, just as nagging parents have long suspected that, that what, what have nagging parents been suspecting? Now, the answer to this question is found in the first paragraph. The young are not listening to their elders and perhaps they never had. But now it happens that with many of them, the reason may be medical. The young aren't listening because they can't hear. The young aren't listening because they can't hear. Just as nagging parents have long suspected. Now, Autologists now report that youngsters are going deaf as a result of blasting their eardrums with electronically amplified rock and roll. So the answer to this question is, children could not hear properly after listening to amplified music. Parents have already been suspecting this. When children plug their earphones, put on their headsets, and their parents call them, parents keep on nagging because you can't hear. Stop listening to loud music. So, Nagging parents have long been suspecting that youngsters are going deaf. Children cannot hear as a result of blasting their eardrums with electronically amplified rock and roll. Even before autologists came up with that, nagging parents have already suspected that children could not hear properly after listening to amplified music. When you call your child or your younger ones after they are born, Listen to a very loud music, it's very difficult for them to hear. So, nagging parents have long been suspecting this even before autologists confirmed this. Okay, so that is the end of this session. Remember, whenever you want to answer questions on comprehension passages, first read the passage to understand. After reading each question, Go back to the passage to read the passage to pick where the answer to that question can be found. Do that for every question. Okay, that is the end of this wonderful session. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel, like and comment. If you have any questions for us, kindly drop them in the comment section. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day.